everybody, it's Steve Baker at Sewing and we are here from the desk today to review a new fabric collection from Moda Fabrics. This particular collection is by designer Deb Strain. Um, if you guys are <clears throat> familiar with Moda Fabrics, you know that uh, Deb is one of their uh, featured uh, or very frequently seen designers. Uh, her collections are quite well known in the industry and she has really outdone herself with this new holiday inspired collection so this one is called homegrown holidays and i'll be going over this with you uh, shortly i'll give you some close-up looks of the fabric uh, let you know some ideals or suggestions on different ways that you can use the fabric for the upcoming holidays and i think you guys are going to be really excited when you see this um, i know i was uh, the the detail, the um, memories that the, the fabric induces um, are, are incredible. So if you are all about the uh, traditional Christmas holiday, keeping things traditional, tra traditional looks, uh, colors, the reds and greens, you're really, really going to like this. Um, so a few of the things first, I want to let you know what um, is featured in this particular collection. Uh, what I call the primaries, uh, we've got the primaries and secondary fabrics. The ones I call the primaries are the ones that I consider kind of the showstoppers uh, of the collection. Um, and the uh, secondaries are the ones that I call them, it's like the, the backup choir, uh, you know, the backup singers in, in a group at, that their job is to make the star look great, sound great. So um, I'm going to review the primary and the secondary fabrics here real quick for you, and then I'll give you some close-up looks. So um, as for the primaries, it features uh, farmyard animals. Um, we've got the traditional holiday red truck that, for whatever reason, the last 10 years or so has really, really made its way back into the forefront of Christmas design. Um, I personally, I, I love it as well. It, again, it harkens back to, to simpler times. Um, then we have got fabrics that uh, have holiday elements in it from evergreen to holly berries, uh, the red cardinals, which is, you know, seems to be the red bird uh, of, of Christmas. Um, you know, there's nothing more beautiful than looking out a window if you live in an area where it snows and you have snow on Christmas morning and the, the cardinals are sitting on the fence post. It's uh, sets a beautiful scene. Uh, we also have bond, uh, barn stars. Uh, we have some different varieties of gingham patterns. And one of my personal favorites is uh, what I call fabric with words. Um, it always adds an elegant touch to any design, in my particular opinion, and more directly communicates, again, through words, uh, what, what a particular piece is all about. So with that said, I'm going to hop around the desk, grab the camera, and give you a close-up look at what some of these fabrics look like. So stay with me. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you do, please hit the subscribe button. Um, at the bottom, click like on the video because this will be um, ongoing uh, ongoing activities that we'll be doing, doing here because a lot of times these fabrics come and go and um, our customers miss out. Um, by the time they discover there's this great new uh, collection out on the market, the collection is sold out and gets really, really difficult to find. So we want to help you know up front what is hitting, to mar hitting the market and so that you can grab it immediately. So with that said, we're going to stop, we're going to grab the camera, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, I'm behind the desk now here, and I am going to show you one of my favorite pieces from this collection. Uh, this is the piece that I was talking about earlier that features the farmyard animals. Uh, we got some pigs, cows, sheep, uh, roosters. There's a lot of different holiday elements in this from the holly to the barn stars. Um, beautiful red traditional Christmas color. And again, I think this is something you guys are really, really going to enjoy. Now, with the barnyard animals, we also have one of my favorites is the gray. Um, as you guys get to know me a little better, you're going to find that whites, grays, and blacks are my favorite. 
about my favorite pieces to work with. So again, I'm going to kind of zoom in on this for you here a little bit so you can see those uh, cute characters. Um, all the farmyard animals are adorned with some type of Christmas apparel. And let me move these to the side. Now getting to the traditional, and guys, by the way, we do have a few pieces that haven't arrived yet. They are on back order, expected to be here soon. Um, so every piece in this collection may not be featured in this video. So I just wanted to give you a, a quick heads up on that. So here is the vintage uh, red truck with the evergreen elements, the barn stars. This one has the black background. So we have this one with the green. The beautiful reds and the gray backgrounds and again this is the ones I like to call my primary primary fabrics in this uh, collection and everything else will kind of work around it okay these obviously would make great coverings for pillows or any type of holiday decor while I'm talking I'm just moving the fabric out of the way um, so yeah, consider things that, uh, you know, things like pillows and table runners and those type of things that you can pull out every year with the Christmas holiday that kind of become a part of your uh, holiday family tradition. So these two pieces here, these uh, both have evergreen elements in them. Um, this one has the white background. This one has um, a pale green. And again, it's contains the holly, some evergreen elements, uh, bells, holly berries. So these would be a couple of our secondary fabrics. This you'll easily notice has some really beautiful, elegant looking Christmas elements in it as well. Uh, with the gray background, the green background. I love this and I think you guys will too. All right. <laughs> Here we have again the beautiful green, and one of my favorites, the black with the bond, uh, barn stars. Consider these pieces for things like uh, table runners, um, nap, uh, holiday napkins, um, aprons. I think they're great for aprons. Now some of our gingham. Fabrics, we have the red and white. Then we have the, um, I, I think this one's a little bit more of a masculine look than the other, but um, the red and black. And the black on white. So three wonderful choices there to choose from on the gingham. You can't go wrong with gingham. This stuff you can use anytime. It doesn't have to be during the holidays. So what you don't use on your holiday project, you can use any time of year. Now getting to fabric with words. I told you this is one of my favorites. Um, very elegant with a hit, what looks like a handwritten script. Um, it contains sayings on there like farm fresh Christmas trees, um, Christmas on the farm, just a variety of texts, um, each broken up with uh, the holly elements, holly with the berries. So that is that particular design on a gray background. This is the black. And again, the beautiful red. And I really, really think um, Deb Strain, again, the designer on this, did a great job. And I personally love this uh, shade of red. Um, it's a very deep, rich, vibrant red, um, and it just adds a different dimension um, uh, to this, and it doesn't really break far from the uh, traditional Christmas colors. All right, and we also have one with um, a slight off-white, maybe a little bit of a beigey uh, looking background. Okay, so those are fabric with words. And I wanted to show you this piece. Again, I think we have a few other colors of this coming in. I'm going to zoom in on this for you so you can see this. This is um, 
red fabric that is designed with the, uh, to mimic the texture of burlap. And I absolutely love this. I think it's an incredible um, accessory piece. And again, it's one of those kind of things. You, it doesn't have to be for Christmas. You can use this any time of year. Okay. So that covers the fabrics that we currently have in stock. Again, the others will be coming soon, and I'll be putting links in the descriptions. And I wanted to go back very briefly and highlight the farmyard animals, because I really want you to see that and appreciate the, the detail in this. And again, you know, for your quilting and sewing projects, you know, anything from holiday decor, I mentioned Christmas, um, Christmas aprons. Um, another um, idea that I love and that I personally may try myself with the fabric with words is holiday gift boxes that are wrapped in this material. And those type of um, gifts, you know, not only do they have the handmade element to them, but um, it becomes, again, like the Christmas decorations that you would pull out every year. Um, it could even become like an heirloom piece that gets passed down from generation to generation, uh, much like a, a quilt. So again, uh, fabric wrapped Christmas boxes, um, they work great as accessories uh, to cut and add into things like a Christmas, Christmas wreath. Uh, tying those in into bows or, or draping them off Christmas trees. Uh, pillows, table runners, placemats. Um, again, I think the fabric with words um, would make wonderful placemats and or table runners. Another thing I really like about these, um, I think ones like this would also work very well. You know, if you're uh, one of those uh, people that love to give books um, as Christmas gifts, making handmade fabric book markers. Um, again, it adds a homemade touch um, to the gift. It's just a little something extra, uh, you know, that people can hold on to and, and remember you by. And uh, it's certainly anything handmade certainly brings out the warm and fuzzies. So uh, consider that. And lastly, I would say, you know, some people love to make uh, fabric um, Christmas ornaments. I'll get it out in a moment. Uh, fabric Christmas ornaments. And um, again, I think the, these primary fabrics with the farmyard animals and the, the trucks um, would be great ones for that as well. So anyway, that completes what we got here. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look forward to uh, doing more of these fabric reviews with you in the future. Thanks.